Hey everybody, it's Becky with the Sweet Tea Shed. And just jumping on tonight, do a really quick, so cute little Christmas decoration. So, um, pretty much everything you see that I have here tonight, I, I got off of Amazon. So if you go to the Sweet Tea Shed, I will put the links below or in the Sweet Tea Shed. I just did a live um, making one of these, but I also wanted to do it out on, on my YouTube channel. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm not real technology savvy, but I can no longer um, paste my my live tutorials out on YouTube. So I have to do like two, which is totally fine. So anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on how I make this cute little Christmas um, decoration tonight. So what I have is actually just a, this is like an 11 by 14. It's called a burlap sack. It's a drawstring. They're really cute. It's really good quality. And I got these off of Amazon. It's probably 11 by 14. Um, and you can get any size that you want, but this is the size that I'm working with. Kind of like a little Santa bag, right? A little Santa bag. You can use it for a lot of different things, decorations. You could um, use it as a stocking, I guess, if you wanted to. But I'm going to actually put a stencil on it. And um, I've done a few other stencils tonight with them, but um, I just, this is. Uh, second to the last one and I just wanted to stop it and do a live so this is all you're gonna need to do this doesn't take long that you have your burlap bag and then we actually are going to be using paint this is white Waverly chalk paint which is my paint of choice but whatever you use always say use what you got you can use what you got and then you're gonna want to put a piece of paper or cardboard or something inside your bag or whatever you're working on because it is gonna bleed through a little bit you can see already I've got some bleed through from um, an earlier one I was doing. So you're just going to stuff it in there and just to prevent that bleed through. That's all that's for. Nothing else. That's all that's for. And then I've got, um, I just did one of these earlier, so you'll be able to see that there's chalk paint on it already. Um, but that's okay because I'm just going to be doing the same thing to this one because I needed a couple of them. So this is an adorable Merry Christmas with antlers. And I got this off of Amazon as well. And I will also post a link to this on the Sweet Tea Shed. So um, way cute. Now, I would usually use painter's tape to go around the outside to tape it down to whatever I'm stenciling. And I want to preface all this with, uh, I am far from a professional stenciler. I am far from a professional crafter, but I just like to play and do and, and I'm learning as I go. So hopefully you are learning when I do these little tutorials. Okay, so anyway, so just a, uh, a stencil. They're a plastic one. You can do the um, chalk couture ones. I've got some of those, but um, this is what I'm using tonight. And this is a five by seven, probably. And just find the place where you wanna put it. And I am just going to use white chalk paint. Now you could use whatever color paint you want. If you wanna make it fancy wancy, you go for it. But tonight I'm just going to use white chalk paint on it. And um, again, I'm just using just using um, um, invisible tape, just regular old tape, tape, wrapping tape, whatever you want to call it, to hold my stencil down and to hold it in place. Because I certainly don't want it moving around a lot. Because I'm also going to be using a small pouncer, and yeah, it's kind of cockeyed. It's just it came that way. They're not usually crooked like that, but this one came crooked. But that's all right. She still works just fine. And my chalk paint. And that's it. Those are all the items that we're using tonight. And this is really quick and easy, but just wait. It comes out adorable. So all I'm doing is I'm taking my chalk paint. And since it's it's brand new, so it's a full bottle, I'm just pretty, uh, just barely dabbing my dapper in there. And then I'm just using the lid to knock some of that paint off. You don't want like a ton of paint on it. You want to just knock some of that paint off so it's not quite so solid. Whew. And you don't want to drop your pouncer. <laughs> You don't want to do that. Luckily, it landed on my on my stencil, so I didn't get on my bag. Part of my charm. Um, and then you're just going to start pouncing. So you can see I'm kind of holding the stencil down and just going to start pouncing. I can already see I don't have enough paint on there. So again, but I always put paint on it and I always pounce it because I don't want a whole, I don't want a blob. If you put a big blob on it, it's going to get underneath your stencil and that's just going to screw everything up. So you're just going to go around it. Again, pretty quick and easy here. It's not a long thing, but I just thought they, they just come out so cute. And I wanted to share with you guys, obviously I make these and you could certainly reach out if you would like to purchase one for, from me. Um, 
shipping would not be very much on them because they're pretty lightweight. So shipping's not going to be much, but please reach out if you'd be interested in me making one for you. I'd be happy to do that. Or if you are someone who likes to craft, um, or even if you're new to crafting, um, sorry, my hair is kind of wacky. Um, this is an easy thing to do. I can't say stenciling isn't, stenciling's not easy to do per se if you get really crazy with the colors and want to make sure you've got everything lined up just right. But I just like um, the white, especially on the burlap. I like the neutral look on that. It's just, just the way I roll. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so, um, but you could certainly, again, oh, my dog's in here. He hears me pouncing and he thinks somebody's knocking on the door. So, it's all right, bully. It's okay, bull. <laughs> Bullet. <laughs> he's a weenie dog and his name is Bullet because he's freaky fast. If any of y'all have a weenie dog, y'all know how fast they are. <laughs> hey, cut it out. He's just trying to protect mama. So I'm just going around my letters and I'm holding down, you can see my fingers um, have paint on them because I'm holding down as I go to try to keep that stencil from popping up so much. Um, you also can buy some adhesive spray, which I do have some of that, which I failed to think about, uh, but I have used in the past. And you can spray the back of your stencil and it keeps it from moving around too. Uh, especially if you have a larger stencil, that's a really good idea to do that. But this one's a, like I said, it's just about a five by seven, so it's not huge. And I'm being really careful and cautious and just using my fingers to hold it down um, because I don't want any paint to get up underneath the stencil because obviously wherever paint's at, it's going to be on your, on your burlap or whatever you might be working on. So you can see every time I dip it, I always pounce it to get any excess paint off. I don't want too big of a blob on this. But this is going to be really cute. This is a Christmas gift for someone. Someone ordered this from me. So I was very appreciative of that. So, um, oops, here's her order. <laughs> so I'm making several of these for her um, with different stencils on them. So I'm just looking around making sure that I got paint on all of the stencil part. And I think I'm gonna got a few pieces here that I'm just gonna go back around just to make good and sure that I've got it on there. By the way, if Uncle Steve and Aunt Janelle are watching, they like watching my YouTube videos. So, hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've had a YouTube video. So, um, uh, Aunt Janelle likes to craft. She's been over here several times and she is a really good crafter. So, you're going to have to come back over here, girl. Get us some crafting going on. But anyways, so yeah. So, obviously, you guys know that I'm called the Sweet Tea Shed. I have a goal to reach a 1,000 members by the end of the year. So, whatever y'all can do to toss my, my site out there, I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to get more followers. And um, God's doing some really great things with the Sweet Tea Shed. So, I'm hoping and I know in 2022, it's going to be a good year for us here. And there's some growth going on, hopefully. So, all right. So, I think I got it done. One good thing about stenciling, too, especially like on this burlap, um, once you pull your stencil up, if you need to go back over it with, like, something, if you see you missed a part, you can just use a paintbrush. And, and use it. You have to have kind of a steady hand. Now, I'm far from being a painter. I'm far from being a stenciler or even a true crafter. <laughs> but I like to try to have fun. I like to try to learn. I try to teach y'all a little bit as I go. And y'all can also learn from my mistakes. So, my fingers are all dry, even though I've still got goobers all over it. They're dry. Otherwise, I've got wipes over there. And I would certainly clean off my fingers before I would attempt to take this stencil off. Because I don't want paint on my sweet burlap bag. So... I think we're good. I'm all dry, don't have any on me, so I can go ahead and lift this up, get the tape going and lift it up and wait and see how cute this is going to be. So cute, so cute. Now this is wet, so be really careful. You set it way aside because you don't want to get it on your burlap bag or anything else, so be sure you set it aside and very easy to clean. I take these in the house. I get my sink with a little warm water, put some Dom dishwashing soap and wipe it off. 
that chalk paint comes right off. So, but you want to clean those uh, the same time that you do them. So I'll get those done tonight. But I want to show you how cute this is. <gasps> how adorable is that? I think this is going to be a great little Christmas gift for somebody. So I'm just, I'm, I, I hope that she's tickled the person that bought these from me. Like I said, I've made several for her, different stencils on there, but that's it. That's how easy it is to do. Again, stenciling is not necessarily difficult, but the first few times I stenciled, I, you know, kind of freaked out a little bit and wasn't the best, but practice makes perfect. Um, and this came out pretty dang perfect, pretty cute. I don't even see really, um, I don't think I even need to go over it. Maybe one little spot. So I've got a little paintbrush. Um, and I'm just barely, 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 barely putting any paint on it. If you can see, just barely dipping it in there. And then I'm wiping it off. So I just barely have any on the tip. And then I see like my, my eye here a little bit. Maybe put a little bit more on it. And I'm just going ch -ch -ch down really carefully because I don't want to get outside the lines. I see my Y here. Put a little bit more on my Y. Make it a little bit bolder. That's all I'm doing is making it a little bit bolder. I don't want to mess with it too much. But that's it, guys. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed this quick, quick Christmas gift idea. Um, again, it's not hard to do, but it's a gift for somebody. So I want it to look really nice. And I can guarantee you that if it didn't come out nice, I would do it over and over until it looks nice. So um, that's it. So reach out if you'd like to purchase one. I got them for sale. Um, I'll put a link over at the Sweet Tea Shed of where I've got all my stuff from. And if you guys would keep sharing or talking about the Sweet Tea Shed to people, um, I'd appreciate that too. So anyways, God bless you all. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. And uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you guys early. Hopefully I'll be back on before Christmas is here. But anyways, you guys take care. Bye, everybody. <laughs>